Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial and here I'm going to show you something uh, for our next step in this uh, tutorial. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to count the comments here and you can count it here but what you want to do is you want to be able to pull this number out using JavaScript so that you can submit to your database in a form this number to update the uh, number of comments for this particular post. So what I have done here, so if I go to a current uh, post page it just has this and if I have the update what I'm going to uh, show you how to program this is this is like one of the easiest things to program like once like if you if you haven't done it before it does take time to figure it out the first time around but especially if you have someone like me showing you how to do it this is like the level of this is like Lego blocks it's easy so um, I, I don't want you guys to be overwhelmed by this this should be done super easily and you shouldn't have any problem doing this at all um, I'm just I just went ahead because I love making tutorial videos. I just went ahead and did this for you guys, but just by no means, like I want you guys to think this is something that's easy. Like what I'm doing here is something that's easy and I want you guys to learn as easy as possible. So having said that, you want to go, if I click try it, the button here, I just randomly named it on um, try it. It has three here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this number out and we're going to, um, uh, use JavaScript to just make sure we can actually pull it using JavaScript because we can't directly pull this so basically what the problem is this if we go here and go inspect element it's in a class called 4q uh, sorry underscore 4qba now I'm not sure what the Facebook API is but that's something that might change if Facebook's commenting software changes and Facebook might, Facebook makes an update we can't do anything about it now that goes the same thing for the way that I'm about to show you as well but right now if we go here and we go inspect element I put it inside a div ID of Facebook FB comment count and then I put it and then the span class is auto generated by Facebook but it's it has like class name act like Facebook actually generates a class name called FB underscore comments underscore count so it actually looks more legit and it feels less likely that Facebook will change it so if Facebook still decides to change it there's absolutely nothing you can do about it but at least this way it looks a little bit more legit so what we're going to do is we have to first grab um, Facebook comment counting feature so we go Facebook comment count and how to get comment I think it's I think it's uh, this one developers facebook.com so we go down and uh, not this okay, I'm just gonna okay, move that oh, fuck. I don't know why that's coming google.com okay let's do that all right everyone's commenting on google.com okay so let's go I'm gonna go count comments counter so what you want is you just want to copy and paste this code so I'm gonna copy and paste that you can you can read the documentation for the exact information on what it does and how it does it but I'm just gonna go straight to the code so what we want to do is we want to let's say um, I'm gonna put it up here and if I go back refresh the page here oh great so it has 11,000 so that's not the number we want we want this number right here this this URL so what we want to do is we want to go um, I think where was it I have to go here and I have to go I think request URI I have to go request URL, and I think that should work. So it should say two. Yeah, there you go, two. So if I add another comment, make more money. Get as rich as possible. All right, so now we have five comments. So if we refresh the page, it turns to five. Now we want to actually pull this number out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put JavaScript at the end of the file. Now, it took me forever to figure this out because I'm new to JavaScript, but you have to put the script at the end so that it actually loads, it connects the variables after the page is loaded. Now, um, you can find a way to use onload or window onload to put the JavaScript up top and do it, but you just it's easier if you let the DOM that you want to put into a variable load first. So this is the easy way I'm gonna do it. And then of course you want to put the JavaScript file in a separate file, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep it as simple as possible. So, I mean, how you program depends on how you, what your outlook on life is basically. <laughs> so let's uh, let's go here and let's say, um, 
I'm gonna say let FB comment count equals document. Actually, I'm gonna put this in a div tag. So I'm gonna say uh, div Facebook comment count. Then I'm gonna paste this inside right here. Then I'm gonna go document get element by ID, then get elements by class name. And then for the ID, I'm gonna say FB comments count. And then the class name is going to be, you can't see it here, but if you go here and uh, yeah, if you take a look at this right here, if you go refresh, inspect element, it's right here, it's, co um, it's comment counts with the underscore. So here it's comment count with dash, here it's comment count with underscore, you want the underscore. So you want to go back here and you go comment count underscore. And then you just go, um, I'm gonna say function pressed button. Uh, alert um, FB comment count zero because we just want the first class element, child element that's selected. Um, inner HTML. And the reason I'm putting it inside a div tag, uh, sorry, inside an ID tag called FB comment count is because I wanted to make sure that this is the only item that is counting. I don't want it to count something else. I just want to count this one. So specifically an ID with this it has to be inside this div. So that's why I'm doing that. So if I go here and if I go button uh, alert Facebook comment count. All right. And we go on click Pressed button and we refresh the page. Go back here, refresh the page. Alert Facebook comment count. Okay, well, it's not working. Okay, let's see what's wrong. Pressed Facebook comment count. That should be right. Oh, right. We have to put that. Okay, not sure. Okay, there we go, five. So if we go um, alert one more time for the money, get rich as possible. Get rich. And so we got seven comments, refresh the page. This number changes to seven. Alert Facebook comment count, so number seven. So there you go, that's how we count the, um, that's how I'm going to count the number of posts using JavaScript. Um, so in the next tutorial, we're going to um, actually make the form. We're going to what we're going to do in the next tutorial is we're going to hide this number so it's hidden, so we, it's out of the view. We can either do that with CSS or we can do that with just hidden in input form. Uh, I'll figure that out for the next tutorial, and then we're going to uh, on page load. We're going to wait five seconds, and then we're going to load we're going to update the number of comments in the database. So we're also going to use a database table uh, migration and add in a table column to count to store the number of comments for each post. So I'll be showing how to do all that in the next tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next video.